Hi, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk about purging. That is the nasty flare up in your acne that can occur when you start to use the correct medication in the first instance. It's certainly one of the commonest reasons for someone to panic and I think that if you don't know what to expect with your acne journey, how on earth could you possibly stay engaged if something like this happens? So I think it's really important to understand what medications or active ingredients might trigger it, what to do about it, and how long to give it before thinking that you need to do something differently. So the ingredients that tend to make you purge, ironically, are the ones that are actually really important when it comes to solving the problem of your acne, of getting ahead of it, so that instead of reacting to spots constantly, you actually prevent the majority. And the key ingredients um, to getting control of your acne like this are retinoids and to some extent azelaic acid. So those are the two actors that, in my view, really help correct the process of comedogenesis, which is where the pores get clogged up with sticky skin cells and block the free flow of oil, which leads to the proliferation of the acne bacteria, and boom, that's what gives you spots. So you start something like Retin-A or Differin or Azelaic Acid, and what happens typically in a purger, and as many as 25% of people starting those kind of medications for acne will purge, so as many as a quarter, it's terribly common. And usually, at any point within the first four to six weeks, they'll start to get more frequent spots. So it'll seem to be paradoxically making acne worse. Um, and this process can go on for as long as six to eight weeks, and sometimes even longer. And that's not uncommon if someone has what we call predominantly comedonal acne, so sometimes, the acne can actually look really quite quiet from a distance because there aren't many inflamed spots, but up close you can literally sometimes see hundreds and hundreds of comedones. Now what will happen is that if you put a retinoid or azelaic acid on the skin, it will start to push out a lot of those comedones and essentially trigger breakouts that would normally occur over months or even years to happen over the course of weeks. So it can actually seem like things are getting much worse and it can certainly look worse in the first instance. So how do you get yourself through this unfortunate part of the acne journey? Well, I think knowing that it can often happen is, is the first thing and perhaps to expect the worst before it gets better will manage your expectations accordingly. It's certainly part of the reason why I don't tend to see anyone any sooner than three months after starting them on an appropriate regime. I will sometimes see someone sooner, um, particularly if they have a big event coming up like a wedding and we're on a tight deadline as I have been recently um, on a few occasions, but I really don't like doing that. So if you can please come to me at least six months before you get married, I'd really appreciate it. Um, but sometimes it happens, that's real life. And I think what's key is to not only um, incorporate a retinoid, or if someone's actually trying to conceive or use azelaic instead. Um, so those are the kind of ingredients we'll use to try to prevent acne, but I will also marry it up with an anti-inflammatory agent, and something like benzoyl peroxide or certain topical antibiotics, and often use a benzoyl peroxide antibiotic combination as the anti-inflammatory to control the tendency to purge. And I'll split those ingredients so that the anti-inflammatory is usually in the morning with the retinoid um, or azelaic acid at night. Um, so those are the simple practical tips when it comes to putting together a regime, anticipating that as many as a quarter of people will purge. What happens if it still continues and it's simply not tenable to carry on like that? Um, you know, in terms of everyday life. Well, I think that the thing next to do is to try reducing the frequency of your um, medication that was triggering the purge. Um, so that might mean reducing down from daily use to every other day or even every third day. Acknowledging it may well take longer to get a handle on your acne, um, but the likelihood is that with persistence, which is key to acne treatment, you'll get there. And that once the frequency of new blemishes starts to reduce, you then titrate the frequency of your retinoid or azelaic acid back up, aiming for daily use. So it will get through it, you will get through it. Um, there is light at the end of the tunnel, but I think manage your own expectations, understand the typical acne journey, and actually it's probably worth linking to our Get the Gloss article, The Acne Diaries. Um, where one journalist actually 
documented the whole of her three months acne journey um, uh, on, a, on a frequent basis so that you know you see the trials and tribulations of this process but ultimately hopefully gives you confidence that there is as I said light at the end of the tunnel um, but yeah persistence know you're on the right treatments avoid any provocateurs and you'll get there hope that was helpful bye for now